Okay, to start the experiment off, you need to pour approximately a fourth of the box, about four ounces of cornstarch, into the mixing bowl and slowly add about a half a cup of water, stir it up. Sometimes it is easier to mix the cornstarch and water with your bare hands. Of course, this only adds to the fun. Continuing to add, continue adding cornstarch and water in small amounts until you get a mixture that has the consistency of honey. It may take a little work to get to the consistency just right, but you will eventually end up mixing one box of cornstarch with roughly one to two cups of water. Notice that the mixture gets thicker or more viscous as you add more cornstarch. I'm going to bring it closer so that okay. you can see inside the bowl. Uh, quick sand in the making. It's really hard to mix. Yeah, I'm guessing this is the viscous part. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think I can add one more half cup of water, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now so it's easier to mix. Okay. Okay, so far we've added 16 ounces of cornstarch into two cups of water. And it's really hard to mix. It is so hard to mix. Okay. Sink your hand into the bowl of quicksand and notice its unusual consistency. Compare what it feels like to move your hand around slowly and then very fast. You can't move your hand around very fast. In fact, the faster you thrash around, the more solid and the gooey stuff becomes. Sink your entire hand into the goo and try to grab the fluid and pull it up. That's the sensation of sinking, sinking in quicksand. Next, we're going to drop a plastic object into the cornstarch mixture and then try to get it out. It's pretty tough, even for an experienced quicksand mixologist. displays the um, concept of suspension where two substances, a solid and a liquid, are divided and dispersed within one another. When force is applied to the cornstarch water concoction, um, starch molecules are forced closer together, causing it to feel hard to the touch. This has been Shelley Stewart and Casey Tapia. Thank you for watching our science experiment. Have a great day!